Hi guys, and welcome back to Stray. So, I think this is episode 4, and last time we played, we were helping this robo-friend, uh, Seamus, find his dad. And his dad is important. He's one of the outsiders that's looking to find their way to the surface, which is where we want to go to meet back up with our family. So, we ended with him opening up the door. And starting to, like, walk and find out where his dad is. So, that's what we're doing right now. And we will kick over to when we leave this, uh, this small city. And just like that, we are back. So, let's see if we can help our pal out. Look at all these Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. Okay. I'll open the door for you. Railway? The, uh... Rails. Dead end. Okay. Nailed it. Oh, don't. Spoke too soon, spoke too soon. Woo! Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep going. Take it on the chin, guys. Take it on the chin. Right there. I need to turn it the other way. Can I get it from here? There we go. shit. Ooh. Okay. You need to be a little bit of kitties, okay? Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Oh, she's got a little paw. Okay, where to go? Right here. Anything over here? Whoa! We got another memory. The scientist I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage, fishing all day long. <laughs> of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. <laughs> when we get to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? 
I think that's what the scientists would have wanted. But first we should go find Doc. Okay. Apparently Doc is hiding somewhere in this area. We need to find him. electric generator, but it seems to require some other part to function. Uh huh. Hi. Just gonna follow this wire. Getting shifty. A little sketch. It's down here. Oh, are you Doc? Whoa! Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Okay. Oh, there's another memory. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around, making lots of noise. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? Okay, that's not doing anything. Hey, be careful with that defluxer. At full charge, it can explode zerks like confetti. <laughs> this baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work. And the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew. But with all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you might be. If you could reach the generator and replace the fuse, it should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Here, take this fuse, it's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Thank <laughs> you. 
go. Just a second, guys. Let me pop a pop a cough drop here. Amazing! You got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. Are you gonna miniaturize it? Work. The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now, let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Alright, where's the tutorial? Gotta wait for the tutorial on how to use it. Wait, how do I use it? Take out all those zerks so we can get through. I'll be. Wow, it's working great, but as I suspected, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. The switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. There must be a way to open that door. Oh, it's up there. I thought I was going to the pipe. Oh, come on.
Whew, that was close. Let's go back home. It's it, Doc. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerts. N Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. So you survived the Zerks after all. Do you have the ten cans you owe me? This is really impressive, Doc. Nobody had survived that long in the dead city. I want to hear what his set has to say. Yeah, sure, I'm so happy he's back. Hi, Teddy. What's up, Rosie? Oh, Billy. Do you know my son, Seamus? It's thanks to him that I came back from that damn place. Oh! And did you meet that weird orange creature walking around? Me. You must see him walking around. Oh, who's this guy? Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Wait, I have songs. Mildly important information. This one was composed by a renowned algorithm. Momo is waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but you have... But have you done everything you wanted in here? Because I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any Zerks coming through. I think we're good. I can't believe you found Doc and got the defluxer. With this, we can... Now we can go find Zabaltazar. Let's go. The sewers.
This place is creepy. any way to open this gate. Can you take a look on the other side? been this far out of the slums. With you here, I'm not even scared. I don't know, this place is sketch. This old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. Well, you have more muscles than me, so... Alright, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta get more cough drops. Alright, guys, I'm back. I got myself my... Cough drops and my emergency. So, if you hear, like, dinking coming from me... Just me making sure that my vitamin C is as high as it can be. So let's jump back into this. Quick, jump below the door. It won't hold for long. All right. I'm on it. I can't go on with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Zabaltazar and Clementine, tell them I was brave. Ooh. I just walked into the alien nest.
Nothing, okay. Go. I gotta open up the other side too. eyes. <laughs> what, what are you doing, B12? Help. Why 
were you staring into the eyes of that thing, huh? What happened to our buddy B12? What was it? What'd you do that for? I, it was dark. I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The defluxer is completely destroyed now. We'll have to be careful. Is that Momo? Thank goodness, okay. At least it looks like Momo. It's not. Is it? No. A traveler from the sewers, we haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us, contacted us earlier? The little outsider? Zabaltasar, the outsider, has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. Alright. Ant village. Kind of pretty, especially down there. And I think that is where we were going to call it. Why did B12 just fucking stare into the eye and then burn out his core? Like, that makes no sense. Like, what caused it to do that? I don't know. Uh, hopefully we find out next episode and we get our defluxer fixed because that thing is super useful. But for now... I hope everybody's having a great evening, and I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!